About half the homes in Utah still use swamp coolers to cool their homes. And if you're one of them, you could be making your family sick because of it. Tony Oakman is here from Lee's Heating and Air. Is air conditioning healthier than swamp coolers that people use? Well, it, it is because essentially the one unit is outside and then you're circulating the air inside the home. Whereas a swamp cooler like we have here is essentially taking the air from outside and blasting it through your house. And so sometimes not always the cleanest. In fact, this is just a swamp cooler you just took off of a home recently. Yeah. Can, we, can we move this away yeah, to see what it looks like inside? And see, and look, and, and, and you know, the duct tape was on there, yeah. so it helped <laughs> to hold that on. But, but Darren, the, the great thing about this... And this is a clean one. This is relatively clean, right? This, there really is. I thought that the, the pad that you have to change every year uh, and things like that, it, then this one is really pretty good. But look how crusty yeah. that is. Yeah. Do you really want that air blowing in your house? And people actually have, you know, get prescriptions from their doctor to replace this with the central air. Because it is, it does actually can make you yeah. sick and the air conditioner of course will have healthier yeah. air. Yeah. Do swamp coolers also, I've seen stuff on roofs, it looks like they stain roofs, do they damage your home? Well what happens is, is, is there's just a float and it, it, there's a water level and these may tilt or whatever and there's an overflow and it'll just run the water down the roof. And so what happens is, is you, you get this damage like you're seeing on the screen here now that, that there are roofs with water running down. And I don't care who, who's your roofer, what roof you have, nobody likes to have water constantly running down the roof. Yeah. And it's a waste of water. And, it, and it's not good. I know people probably initially think that they're going to be better off cost-wise. It takes a tiny bit less electricity to run a swamp cooler than an AC unit. But the real problem comes in in the wintertime when you actually have all that the air going out the hole in the roof. Because we have you know, the, the, where the thunder in the hallway, where this comes from, is that hole in the, in the ceiling there. A lot of people, uh, w that is just like a chimney for heat in the winter. And so unless you really, really, really seal that up really well, it's just going to, you're going to lose all that heat that you've just paid good money for through your gas furnace trying to heat up your house. It's just escaping out. And you don't even know this. You actually hooked up a little meter, a little thing to determine the electricity that an AC unit uses versus yes. the swamp cooler uses. Here it is. We've got it hooked up onto, onto the AC unit. Yeah. And there really is not a significant difference in between the AC unit and the swamp cooler. Literally a couple amps. Literally just a couple amps. And so, I mean, that doesn't, you know, that's not very much, really. And so what will happen is it, you couple, this does use less amps, but you couple that with the energy loss that you have in the winter, yeah. all the heat, then the central air becomes much more appealing. With the fact that it's cleaner, it doesn't require the maintenance of going up and down on the roof. You ever see a roof that's got a track where, everybody, where you run yeah. up and down? <laughs> you know, you'll see this. And it, that's not good. And then plus, you know, I have a neighbor who actually fell off his roof and, and, and uh, his, well, his dad did and, and um, actually died. And so you, th those are the kind of things that, you know, we don't need the accident climbing up on the roof. If you have one of these, you. if you have one of these, Lee's Heating and Air, we want to help you. In fact, yeah, because people choose this because it's a little bit less expensive. You're going to make up for that because especially if you're going to rip someone's swamp cooler out, you'll give them a little extra deal, right? Yeah. And, they, uh, you know, one of the fears is we don't ever take this off. No, we do. At least heating and air, we'll take this off, but we'll give you five hundred dollars off. We'll give you five hundred dollars actually for your swamp cooler. Yeah, it's, today it's not really worth that that much. Though. I don't know. So, <laughs> so it's a good deal. If you want information and want to take advantage of that deal, they give you a call, right? Yeah, call Lee's Heating and Air at eight zero one five three seven. Seven, um, seven, four, um, seven, four, seven, Lee's. I Lee's. think that's there what it is, Tony. I'll, I'll watch God. you out for you. Seven, four, seven, Lee's. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> if, if you forget the seven, forty, seven, Lee's, we've got, uh, we've got a link to the website on our website as well. Oh, so my thanks heavens. for stopping in. Hey, yeah, thanks Go for Go and memorize me. your phone number. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll do we'll that. be right back with more on Studio 5.